But despite controversy, there's little doubt that immunization has dramatically controlled infectious childhood diseases in the last 20 or 30 years. So what is immunization and how does it work? Well, we have no natural resistance to certain germs. That is, we can't fight them off without some assistance. This isn't the case when we're first born. Because we're protected by antibodies, which are substances transferred to us from our mothers while we're in the womb. This means that for the first three months, babies are safe from infectious disease. But after those first few months, we lose our natural resistance and become vulnerable to all kinds of infections. These are some of the germs that threaten our children. Diphtheria, polio, and whooping cough. Each one of these is a potential killer. In the 1940s and 50s, before immunization began on a large scale, thousands of young children died because they had no protection, no resistance to deadly germs. Epidemic after epidemic swept the country, killing or permanently damaging thousands. Today, our children are fortunate because they have complete protection against major disease. Medical experts now know much more about killer diseases and have developed a form of protection known as immunization, which helps us to fight off certain infectious diseases. What happens is that your child is given a very weakened form of a disease in an injection. It's so weak that in most cases there will be no symptoms. And the body, by being exposed to the weakened germs, builds up resistance to them.